again. Hi all, we are going to uh, continue our show. We are going to find out more about Ariane Grande. I just saw the uh, clip side by side. You know what it means? Show that picture. Show that drone. The dick bicycle. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is the dick bicycle. <laughs> Found out what the dick bicycle is. This is the dick bicycle. But uh, yeah, it's a strange lyrics. She's uh, selling her soul to the devil to get her uh, yeah. boyfriend. Yes, well. So yeah, some people do that to get a boyfriend. Or, I played uh, Nicki Minaj. She's uh, a bit trashy, in my opinion. And, uh, <laughs> to get power and um, but I think Ariana Grande was like uh, one of the Disney channels. She started yeah, with the, yeah, well yeah. Disney so she her uh, no, Nickelodeon I believe Nickelodeon Ariana Grande oh is it Disney? I think Walt Disney. Yeah, Nickelodeon in the Nickelodeon also. She's now uh, twenty four. Yeah, playing Cat Valentine in Nickelodeon TV series. Uh, Claudia TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. So her audiences grow with her. So now, yeah, that is she she's, little she's, children that watches her are now older, like 18, 19. Yeah, and, and she's now uh, talking about dick bicycles, you know? Yeah. And she used to. Uh, she has yeah. to change she, to with the, with the audience. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like Miley Cyrus. She got wild also. Yeah, but that's because that appeals more to her audience. That's why. Yeah. Uh, her clip got like one point so many billion views. Yeah. And sex sells. So, uh, yeah. Uh, she appeared from Disney parks, Christmas day parades, you know, Disney stuff. Cat uh, Valentine. Katrina Cat. So, you ever saw that program? I never no. saw it. I, I heard that she uh, used to play some role with Cat Valentine. Spoiler alert! Is that <laughs> Uncle Duke taught me how to shuffle cards with one hand. Wow. Ready? Look it. Schnauzel! Okay. Uh, okay. That is. Uh... Spoiler alert! <laughs> oh! I was at a restaurant and I ordered the popcorn shrimp, but it turns out that they have nothing to do with popcorn. They're just these little bitty fried shrimp. Here's another note I like to say. La, la. This has been Kat, which is me, and this was my video profile. La, no one. Uh, like Sentence number. Okay. Ariana Grande, uh, oh well, there are a lot of uh, stuff going on with her. You had like the London attack, and uh, I think also something with Kabbalah. I heard she's with, she's a Kabbalist or something. Kabbalah, double B. Ariana Grande reveals she turned to Kabbalah. How? My brother was told God in love with him. So what was it? Um, My brother was told God didn't love him. Ariana Grande reveals she turned to Kabbalah after her homosexual brother was shunned by the Catholic Church. Yeah, what shunned actually? Is they apostolic uh, faith. Christians and Catholics, they don't like uh, homosexuals. Oh, so, so he was uh, removed. They do not accept. He was yeah. expelled. Yeah, most church do not accept them, but some church don't mind. Okay, so they don't. They say they don't like it, but they cannot uh, prohibit it. They cannot say it's it's against the uh, constitution to make uh, discrimination against homosexual. So we have to accept it. Uh, so yeah, she turned to Kabbalah because the church was against her homosexual brother. Ever heard that story? No, I never heard it. 
she disagreed with the Christian faith, so she was like uh, anti-Christianity. So that's why she sings uh, that easily. I sold my uh, yeah. what was it with her uh, the devil? I, I, I made a deal with the devil yeah. or something. Yeah, uh, 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 take bicycle. And she's not hanging sex. out with Nicki Minaj. And then you get this this kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, Valentine. I right, cost tonight. I'm making deals with the devil. Okay, she knows it's going to get her in trouble, but she don't mind because she is still. She, but she because, is not because she 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 does not yeah. She places the needs of getting something you know above, uh, yeah, God, the real God, holiness, moral. My brother was told that God didn't love him. Yeah, yeah. When my brother was told that God didn't love him. I was like, okay, that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool. Hey, hey that's, that's not cool. cool. They were building a Kabbalah center. What? And then? What? What's this? Shh. Uh, Florida. <laughs> so we both checked it out and really had the connection with it. Uh, okay. So what's Kabbalah? Can you uh, have a look at that? I think Madonna is also doing it. Some Jewish mysticism. Um, yeah, why is it always Jewish? Jewish, you know. Hillary Jewish. is Jewish. This, this is Jewish. I think you're exaggerating. Uh, okay. Oh, you mean now oh, the, the the demons, Moloch and something? Yeah, it was also Bohemian. Jewish. Here, Moloch is a Jewish. Um, Jewish. Yeah, Jewish. Yeah, I go to Jewish encyclopedia. Yeah, they have an encyclopedia mentioned a bala according to what's uh, learned. Agriculture, uh, agricultural. Uh -huh. That's uh, for the harvest. You know, to hard to get the crops to have the crops grow. You know, they sacrifice this animal to have the crops grow better or get good crops. Mm -hmm. They used to do that in the. Uh, I think they still are doing it now. Yeah, that's they did, why they did, they did in the ancient past also. I think up to now, that's why uh, the Route 91 Harvest Festival. Mm -hmm. It's a sacrifice. You sacrifice people to get a better harvest for your crops to grow. On the... Because it's, now it's October. Yeah. Is it harvest time? Yeah, yeah it, it is. It's, it's, it's a... <laughs> Some things are being marketed. Harvest. Okay. Yeah. Kabbalah, ancient Jewish tradition of mystical interpretation of the Bible. It's a different, it's like a mystical interpretation. But why the Jewish, all the Jewish? Historic methods. And why, it, and why is, is everyone? It's a Hasidism. Hasidism. No. So, Kabbalah. Why is, is there a big Kabbalah. link? Is it, uh, no, but why is there a big link to to, to the, the Jews and Jewish traditions all the time with the devil? Tell Demons, me. devil. And, and why are the rich guys and the powerful guys also related to Jews? To, 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 yeah. Wow, it's using more, you see? The word use over time for Kabbalah. Tell me that. Why is it always the, the Jews? Connection to the Jews, the powerful and the rich. I can't answer that. So if I want to be powerful, rich and famous, I should be uh, become a Jew. You cannot become a Jew. You have to be born a Jew. I think. Mm. But I, I cannot turn to the Jewish belief system. You can turn system. to the Kabbalah, I think, yeah. But, um, Strange. The ancient Jewish tradition. Yeah. It's a good one. Let's see uh, Kabbalah. Uh, I write because, it to uh, Kabbalah. Hitler hated Jews. Maybe he was he was actually the good guy. No. Uh, he wants to he wanted to kill all Jews. This is like I think this is uh, they write a lot about devils and demons, but. It doesn't doesn't mean that Jewish uh, religion is uh, evil. No. Okay. Uh, Secrets of uh, Kabbalah documentary. Full. 
Gnosis Secrets of Mysteries of the Kabbalah Decoded. Kabbalah, six hours, wow. Zohar, Secrets of Kabbalah. Ah, this one is short, let's see. History. In the 11th century, the Crusades began a new wave of anti-Jewish persecution as Christian armies try to reclaim the Holy Land from the Arabs. Fleeing from torture and execution, Jews scatter across Europe and the Middle East, taking their secret traditions into new territories. By the 13th century, the mystical teachings have spread to Jewish communities in what are now Germany, France, and Spain. The term Kabbalah, meaning receiving in Hebrew, now becomes widely used to describe the practice. We're really talking about a small group of, of Jewish teachers, rabbis, spiritual people who were gathering the earlier traditions, developing techniques of meditation, and reimagining God in some very startling ways. significant events in Kabbalah's history occurs around 1280 when a Spanish rabbi claims to discover yet another mysterious text. This will soon become the single most important book in Kabbalah. It is called the Zohar, meaning radiance or splendor in Hebrew. It's really the masterpiece of Kabbalah. The ideas of the Zohar are very radical and very startling. It's really the masterpiece of Kabbalah. The ideas of the Zohar are very radical and very startling. Zohar meaning. No definitions. Light, splendor, light or splendor. Uh, that's what they said. Mainly in Aramaic, splendor. its pages are filled with arcane Light. symbolism and erotic language. Erotic language. By arousal below, there is similarly arousal above. Male and female unite, desire prevails. Worlds are blessed, and above and below are in joy. Will, to this will, day, the author of the be. Zohar remains a mystery. Love below and above, yeah. Many the Kabbalists love believe that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai received divine inspiration to write the Zohar men, men while living in a cave during the second century. Others suspect that the manuscript was written a thousand years so later, possibly by a Spanish Kabbalist or even by a group of rabbis. It's in a way written by someone in Aramaic who didn't really know Aramaic that well. And you also strangely find words in medieval Portuguese and Spanish in the Zohar. This is a his history of... So the question... Um. By the 13th century, Kabbalah had spread throughout Europe and the Middle East. Yet even as the number of spread. Jews studying Kabbalah grew, their secrets remained Jews closely guarded. Ever since, scholars have been searching for ways to unravel these secrets. What is it? So, so the theory what is Kabbalah? Okay. So we know it's Jewish and a simple mysticism. Profound system for understanding oneself, understanding creation, and it is some say the book of knowledge that comes to us straight from straight from spirit and has been passed down for thousands and thousands and like of years book? through the oral tradition. Uh, Kabbalah, the word Kabbalah actually means to receive or that which is received. And it in particular ref refers to 
being received from mouth to ear, right? So through the oral tradition. And it is about us being able to receive all the answers that we seek. You know, about us to receive all the answers we seek. We have questions such as who am I, what am I, you know, where do I come from? Some of the most essential questions that there are. That all the essential questions you can uh, Kabbalah receive. helps us to gain that knowledge and that understanding and through this process we come to know ourselves more fully we come to understand the world that we live in and we so it's come more to like a deeper, deeper religion connection yeah. with that spiritual side spiritual. of life and of the self and it is the study of, of the self Kabbalah works with what is called the tree of life mm. which is a glyph or a, a, a pattern that represents a map a map of the self a map of creation, a map of understanding God, you know, and it is a, a map that you can apply to just about anything because it's a universal pattern. And so Kabbalah is the study of understanding how our world, you know, connects in with that pattern and how we can, by knowing that pattern, how we can become co-creators of the process, become more masterful at the process of creation and of really ultimately mastering ourselves. Mastering yourself. One of the things about Kabbalah is that so while that it is an ancient metaphysical system of thought and study, the words and the languaging of Kabbalah might be different from today's way of thinking about things or talking about things, but the concepts that are delivered in the, the tree of life philosophy are very much aligned with what today's science is finally coming to uh, understand about our universe and how it works. Mm. So as a scientist, I study Kabbalah and I see that the Kabbalists had it all along. You know, they have known the things that science is just now starting to prove. And the Kabbalists knew it. They knew it all along. Years. And so, for example, uh, the creation story, according to Kabbalah, is almost verbatim the same as what our cosmologists today are talking about with big bang and many you know parallel universes and and so forth so they the don't believe in god Kabbalah is big bang intricate part of the kabbalistic system is the balance between polarities right and this idea of of fields of energy that flow between different charges or different polarities and then there's also the idea that everything is a system everything is interconnected and in the Kabbalah, the, the main glyph that they really focus on, the Tree of Life, is a very intricate, interconnected pattern where various aspects of the self are all linked up to each other. So the body is a system, we are a system, Earth is a system. And then the other piece where Kabbalah really it's matches nice a lot of today's modern uh, science yeah, well, she is explains in it uh, very uh, nice today they might nice call it the holographic uh, nice model course, where nice every part yeah. contains a reflection of the whole Some sort of like a fractal mass. Uh, and it's, it's in so the fractal. Kabbalah it's a similar thing every piece of that uh, tree of life contains a whole nother tree of life within it and so uh, once again as a scientist I say Kabbalists had it all and if we, as scientists, can then start it's to like selling the look Kaba at what, Kabbalah. Did, what else do the Kabbalists know that maybe can help guide one of the grand of our, of the our research and so our studies, and cult. we can help to Usually, use Kabbalah yeah. as a way to bridge so there's a, uh, science Ibis. and spirituality Ibis. and bring them back together. Ibis. Ibis Hotel. Bridge the science and spirituality again and bring them back together. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a very spiritual explanation. Um, and no, it's, I think most <coughs> who also sing the Christ. Read some books. I, I want to know exactly what it does. And to yeah. How? How's it to your advantage? Who How can you use it? Your that we to know mind. yourself, who you are. Which is what she said. Spiritual. So you get the uh, all these questions. You receive the answers to your questions. If you have a lot of questions, you can. I have a lot of questions. So who am I? Where am I going to? What it's all about? And then uh, she says, Kabbalah is uh, good. And he, this guy, give the five basic principles. <laughs> uh, the uh, 
if if you uh, have a, a group of students who come to you for a period of time, not just for an afternoon, and you want to convey to them the essence of Kabbalah, the principles, the basic ideas, are there um, five or twelve or some specific number of ideas that, that you want to convey to them? Ten? Yes. There are. Yes. Good. About how many? Uh, there are maybe three, four or five principles. Okay, let's say five. First of all, that Dr. Lightman there's a, an upper force that we all live in. And we are the egoistic parts that are opposite to it. Our egos evolve, as we said, for the past few thousand years in this world. At the end of this development, we will reach a state that we have to unify with this force. Who are we? That's the second principle. This upper force is entirely good, bestowing and giving, and it created us opposite itself as egoists in order that the ego will develop in us to a point where we can reveal that our nature is destructive and that there's nothing worse than it. And that we want to burst out of this in the same way that we would want to break free from an old skin and to become like Guys, it. they're really boring, man. Okay, so yeah, Kabbalah, it's... Uh... Je weet van tevoren precies like wat je betaalt voor je hypotheek. Eén scherp tarief. Je moet luisteren naar wat de ISS zegt, maar het is een beetje mysterieus, mysterieus, mysterieus. Ja, want ze praten over een bal, een bepaalde level van dingen. Ze gebruiken de Bijbel term. Ze hebben een hoge term. En dan moeten ze het uitleggen wat het met het bal is, bijvoorbeeld. Want de Kabbalists hebben al lang geleerd dat mensen die niet Jewish zijn van geboorte. Some of the greatest Kabbalists, in fact, were um, uh, uh, Gentiles, people of other nations. Gentiles. Onkelos, um, Rabbi Akiva. The greatest Kabbalists that, are Gentiles. In fact, it's Rabbi. Not Gentiles. Is that, uh, complete reality. Gentiles. I said non-Jewish, I think. Everything was, but is non-Jewish. Belonging to a clan or tribe. Means non Jew. Right. Everybody that's non Jew is a Gentile. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, Ariana Grande, uh, she sold uh, her soul to the devil and. Uh, yeah, she will get uh, really got, uh, rich. She will get really rich, famous and powerful, but she will yes. have a lot, a lot of view on but her. But her soul uh, is gone, so she probably not someone. She will have a lot of view on her. Uh, yeah. But I think she will not uh, really be. Be, 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 go go deep into history. No? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, in, 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 a, in a year or 10, 20, uh, or 30, maybe good. she's forgotten. Yeah, she also does not look that smart. Or she plays like the role in the yeah. uh, series. Uh, yeah, strange. <laughs> But yes, she said it made her a better person. Since then, my life has unfolded in a really beautiful way. And I think that it has a lot to do with the tools I've learned through Kabbalah. I really do. Yeah, and that's why she, she started to make right, a list about the dick bicycle with Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you're not giving into your ego. Everybody has this ego problem. You have to numb your reactive state. You have to the power to change your reality. Ariana has revealed her switch from the Catholic Church to the Kabbalah. Faith is rooted in her older brother Frankie's sexuality. Is that her brother? I think that's her brother Frankie, yeah. She was young, younger then. But she looked she look really different back then. Look at her face there and now. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was young. Yeah, that's 
see but they lost she lost faith to the uh, Roman Catholic Church when the Pope decided to tell me everything I loved and believed in was wrong the church said Spongebob Squarepants is gay and he's a sinner and he should burn in hell and Harry Potter was a sin and working women I was like enough first the gays then Spongebob Bob, now Harry Potter get out of my house I was not having it she needs something else to believe in well, she's, so 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 probably the the homo homo uh, crowd the homo uh, uh, the group of homos on this planet are going to love her also more now, just like uh, gay, the gay, uh, yeah, the, the the gay the gay community, yeah, uh, uh, just like uh, um, I love an animal, yeah, yeah. Madonna was loved by the gay community, um, the the blondes, the blondes artists, um, the kids love her because she was like a Disney uh, figure. Mm. Uh, she likes animal ears, so the uh, animal lovers love her. The, yeah, uh, veganist, yeah, vegetarian. But, the, but she she lost probably the ca the Catholic uh, community. The Catholic uh, community, and that is uh, Latin America a lot, Spain, and Italy maybe also, where she's. Yeah, she has roots from Italy, I believe. The singer fired back against an Instagram user who made a homophobic, homophobic a comment guy. against her brother. That she posted a photo of the two of them together. She said, that homo is the fiercest, most incredible, funniest, most intelligent, kind-hearted, the most loved person on the face of the planet. Instagram. She's uh, protecting her uh, brother for being gay. Yeah, yeah, she, she, will, she changed I, I think she will become like, uh, like Lady Gaga a bit. Mm. Lady Gaga was also a bit weird and uh, all had also the homo community behind her. Yeah. Yeah, great stuff. Good story. Thanks oh, for watching. Oh,